Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to see detecting web attacks with end-to-end -end deep learning. Introduction. Detecting web attacks is crucial for cyber security involving real-time monitoring and analysis to prevent malicious attempts and protect digital assets and user data. Advanced algorithms and behavioral analysis ensure the integrity of web applications, networks and sensitive information. Object of the project. This project proposes a novel approach to enhance web attack detection using end-to-end -end deep learning. Raw web application behavior data is transformed into deep learning features using an autoencoder, comparing it with conventional methods like SVM and NiBase. An advanced long short term memory LSTM algorithm is employed for validation and quantum SVM is explored for enhanced accuracy. The approach aims to strengthen web security by effectively identifying and thwarting various web attacks. Requirements These are the requirements needed to execute this project. Hardware requirements Operating system of Windows Processor of i5 and above RAM of 4 GB and above Hard disk of 20 GB and above Software requirements needed are Python IDL of Python 3.7 version To execute this project, we have designed the following modules. The first module is Upload RSMT Traces Dataset. This module involves uploading the dataset obtained from the robust software modeling tool RSMT which records the execution behavior of the web application. This raw trace data serves as the foundation for the subsequent steps. It is crucial for capturing the real-world web activity necessary for training and testing the models. Second module is Generate Train and Test Model. In this module, the raw RS empty traces are transformed into deep learning features using an autoencoder technique. The dataset is then divided into training and testing subsets with 80% for training and 20% for testing. The third module is run SVM algorithm. The support vector machine SVM algorithm is applied to the transformed data. SVM is a supervised machine learning algorithm used for classification tasks. It aims to find a hyperplane that best separates different classes of data points. By applying SVM to the transform features, the model attempts to classify web requests as either normal or potentially malicious based on patterns learned during training. The fourth module is Naive Bayes Algorithm. The Naive Bayes Algorithm is a probabilistic classifier based on Bayes theorem. It calculates the probability of a particular event occurring given prior knowledge. In the context of web attack detection, Naive Bayes estimates the likelihood of a web request being an attack based on the learned probabilities from the training data. The fifth module is Run Propose Autoencoder. The proposed autoencoder algorithm is a deep learning technique that aims to reduce the dimensionality of the data while preserving its important features. It is used to pre-process the raw RSMT traces into a more meaningful and compact representation for subsequent analysis. The encoded features are then fed into an autoencoder model for training, allowing the model to learn patterns of normal behavior and identify deviations as potential attacks. The next module is run extension LSTM algorithm. Long short term memory LSTM is a type of recurrent neural network RNN that is particularly effective in capturing sequential dependencies in data. In the context of web attack detection, LSTM can learn and remember patterns in web requests over time, enabling it to detect anomalies and potential attacks. The extension of the LSTM algorithm aims to improve accuracy compared to other methods. The next module is Run Extension Quantum SVM. Quantum Support Vector Machine SVM is an advanced variant of classical SVM that leverages the principles of quantum computing to potentially offer better performance on certain tasks. By applying quantum SVM, the project explores the potential benefits of quantum computing in enhancing the accuracy of web attack detection, aiming for improved results compared to classical SVM. The next module is Precision Comparison Graph. This graph visually compares the precision values through positive rate of the different algorithms used in the project. 
precision indicates the accuracy of positive predictions made by the models the next module is recall comparison graph the recall comparison graph provides a visual comparison of the recall value sensitivity of the algorithms recall measures the ability of the models to correctly identify pos positive instances out of all actual positive instances the last module is f score comparison graph the f score comparison graph displays the f1 scores of the algorithms the f1 score is the harmonic mean of precision and recall offering a balanced evaluation metric for the model's performance execution of the project to execute this project first we need to open the code folder this is the dataset folder in which i have rsmt traces dataset so to obtain rsmt traces a dataset of sql injection dynamic coding and xss attacks was downloaded from the internet existing techniques like intrusion detection and machine learning algorithms require pre labeled datasets auto encoder algorithm detects all types without pre labeled dataset so this is the dataset close this and this is the python main code file and this is the run.bat file instead of executing the project in command line interface we have created this windows batch file double click on run.bat file this graphical user interface will be open with this we are interacting with the program we have used tkinter library to create this graphical user interface now click on upload rsmt traces dataset button so a dialog box opens select the dataset and click on open so in the text area it confirms that the dataset is loaded now click on generate train and test model button so in the text area we can see total dataset length is 666 and after splitting the data into train and test sets in the ratio of 80 to 20 now train set includes 532 records and test set includes 134 records now click on run svm algorithm button So we can see the performance metrics of SVM algorithm here. Similarly, click on Run Naive's algorithm, Run Auto Encoder Deep Learning algorithm button. So in the console, we can see the model building, the epochs, and here we can see the performance metrics of Auto Encoder. And now click on Run Extension L LSTM algorithm button. and we got the performance metrics and now click on run extension quantum svm button So we got the quantum SVM performance metrics here. Now click on precision comparison graph button. So in this graph, on x-axis I have algorithm names, and on y-axis I have precision. And we can see auto encoder has got the high precision. Close this, and now click on recall comparison graph button. So here on x axis i have the algorithm names on and on y axis i have recall we can see quantum svm has uh, and also lstm got the high recall close this and now click on f score comparison graph button so we can see lstm has got the highest f score when compared to other algorithms close this and the, the conclusion here is This project presents a novel deep learning approach for robust web attack detection. A precise identification of potential threats is made possible by the efficient transformation of raw data into distinguishable features by the integration of the RSMT tool and auto encoder. The proposed approaches superiority is demonstrated by comparison with conventional approaches the addition of lstm and quantum svm strengthens the validity of its effectiveness in conclusion this project advances web security by providing a potent and flexible defense against dynamic web based attacks thank you for watching video For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in 
For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.